welcome to Troy University Student Government Association Officer Candidate Debate, televised on Trojan Vision. I'm Courtney Still. The, officer, the SGA officer election is coming up Wednesday, February 22nd, and during this program, you'll get a chance to meet and hear from candidates running for SGA Clerk, Secretary, Vice President for Legislative Affairs, Vice President for Campus Activities, and SGA President. Some of the questions to be posed to the candidates were submitted by students, and others were developed by members of the SGA. In the first segment of the debate, candidates for clerk, secretary, and the two vice president positions will each have one minute to introduce themselves, and will have one minute to respond to two questions. The order in which candidates for each office will speak and answer questions was determined by random chance before our telecast. Now let's meet candidates for SGA clerk. Matthew Hall is majoring in business management and is from Grand Bay. Christian Haller is a sports and fitness management major from Pelham, Alabama. Matthew, you have one minute to introduce yourself. Hello, hello, fellow Trojans. I'm Matthew Hall. Uh, I'm running for uh, SGA uh, uh, clerk, and uh, I believe you know this is a great opportunity. Uh, running as uh, as clerk, uh, our current clerk uh, Jared Morgan uh, is running for president. I, I think it's an honor to uh, uh, you know just uh, run for that, and uh, I believe that I have a, a fair voice for the uh, the student body and just be able to. Uh, uh, respect and uh, represent students as a whole. A uh, couple key things I, I want, want to try to do uh, for the Troy community uh, is, is uh, having more polling places uh, for people to vote and, uh, and also trying to increase uh, uh, the advertisement for, uh, for voting uh, throughout social media and uh, other, other uh, places on campus. Thank you, Matthew. Now, Christian, you have one minute to introduce yourself. Good evening. I'm Christian Holler. I'm a freshman here at Troy, and uh, I'm from I'm a sport and fitness management major, and I am a part of Freshman Forum. It has gave me all the skills I need to help in or perform this clerk position. My entire life, I've always been organized, a personal person, and just very reliable. And I've always been able to maintain a heavy load, which is very much required for this clerk position. And uh, i am always been, like, thrived off my commitment to never quit, which just helps me, keeps me motivated and will always make me serve you as a better person. And I do not want this office for my own personal gain. I want to do it to help support this community and always make it better and just fall after the clerk that we have right now, Jared Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. Now I have two questions that each of you will answer, starting with Matthew. From your observations of SGA elections, how can you improve voter turnout? Uh, I believe that I would uh, be able to help uh, better turnout and, uh, you know, making the students more informed, uh, you know, with the uh, social media, uh, you know, with Facebook and, uh, and Twitter, and, and also, you know, we have uh, the new Stewart Dining Hall here at uh, Troy University, and also trying to get uh, you know information about voting uh, available uh, on the screens, and also like around around campus uh, and the uh, and the different halls around campus uh, have uh, you know everything set up, telling students where to go to vote, and uh, you know just letting them know what's uh, coming up in the in the following days and weeks. Uh, as far as voting goes for SGA. Now, Christian, the same question. Well, I would start off by uh, getting the word out about voting a whole a few weeks earlier. I mean, we have plenty of places here on Troy where we can just get the word out. We have this new uh, nice studio where everyone watches TV every day. It shows in the new dining hall. We have plenty of TVs in there. And just word of mouth, if you can just keep spreading word and just have everyone keep talking about it. I mean, we have plenty of organizations here that you can go to and talk about it to and just keep the word going of this voting. Thank you. Thank you. Now our second question, which Christian will have the first chance to answer. Other than putting out posters, flyers, and email messages, how would you encourage students to run for SGA Senate? For example, what would you do to encourage resident hall residents to run their residence hall Senate seat? 
again, like I said, we have this nice TV station, which, I mean, we just need to publicize it more so more people can start watching it. And it's just a great aspect that we have here at Troy, one of the best in the nation. And if we can get them just to watch and get the word out to them, as well as like we have plenty of places to post and just word of mouth by them, talk to them, just get them more motivated that their word will be able to be heard and used in the SGA. Thank you. Thank you. Matthew, the same question now goes to you. All right. Uh, with the residence hall trying to get uh, students uh, to run for uh, SGA Center, I, th uh, I believe, uh, you know, possibly, uh, you know, getting uh, students or senators who are already living uh, in the residence halls to, uh, you know, to do dorm runs and, uh, and to also, you know, be handing out flyers, uh, you know, the following days before uh, because, you know, we have such a, a big community of students that's, you know, living here on campus uh, and, you know, just be able to reach out to them. You know, I know with some of these freshmen and, uh, you know, who are still kind of new to the the whole system, uh, that, that'd be a great way is just, uh, you know, having the uh, senators right now that we have uh, getting out and, and helping out with that. Thank you. Matthew Hall and Christian Haller, your candidates for SGA clerk. Now we have only one candidate for SGA secretary. Let's meet her. Hope Garner is a psychology major from Florence. Hope, you have one minute to introduce yourself. Well, like she said, I am a psychology major from Florence, Alabama, and I have, I'm a sophomore here at Troy, and my, uh, during my two years at Troy, I have been involved in many different organizations, um, including Greek Life, Red Cross Club, um, Psi Lambda, the Psychology Club, and many other organizations that involve service on the campus and in the town, in, in Troy University as a community. Thank you, Hope. I have two questions for you to answer. The SGA retreat is one of the largest events planned by the SGA secretary. What do you have for the SGA retreat? As of right now, we don't have concrete plans for the SGA retreat, but I do plan on making it a fun event that gets the senators as well as freshman forum members excited to serve and also a very informative event. Um, I believe that is a very crucial time in getting those people ready for the semester ahead of them and for the full year ahead of them to serve the university student body and as well as um, it's a very important time for them to have fun and them to bond because I believe that for uh, someone to, to really be able to lead and to serve their student body, they're going to have to enjoy their position. And so I think that the retreat is the prime opportunity for them to really see that SGA and Freshman Forum can be fun things and not just um, something, a meeting to go to. And now your second question. You mentioned in your position statement being president of the American Red Cross Club. Describe an event you have planned for this group and its outcome. As a, the president of the Red Cross Club, we are actually currently planning a fundraiser that is, it goes to the local Red Cross, um, all of the funds that we raise, and we're going to actually involve um, elementary students from local schools, and they're going to come, and, and through this, we're going to involve many different organizations on campus. And I believe that's something that um, I possess as a leader, the ability to involve not only one certain group, and, and maybe my friends or people that I hang out with, but to involve many people and to publicize it among the university in clubs that are not seen or maybe do not get involved in, in other organizations. So I believe as a secretary, an important role of the secretary is to is student involvement and publicity. And so that's my goal. Thank you, Hope Gardner, our candidate for SGA secretary. Next up, we also just have one candidate for vice president for campus activities, and he's Cody Farrell, a political science major from Lynn Haven, Florida. Cody, you have one minute to introduce yourself. Thank you, Courtney. And as she said, my name is Cody Farrell, and I'm a political science major from Lynn Haven, Florida. During my, my time here at Troy, I've become involved in many aspects of Troy's student life. As a member of Freshman Forum, I sharpened my skills and became director this past year. I've also served as an impact leader, Trojan ambassador, a member of the Farmhouse Fraternity, and a part of our STARS higher education team. I'm running for VPCA because I feel Trojans need to be challenged. I will promote more student activities through creative marketing as well as making our timeless events such as pep rallies, homecoming, blood drives, and service days more student-oriented with the goal of bringing all Troy Trojans together. It is important that our entire student body feels they have a voice, a voice for change, service, and involvement. Today I am so excited to become your 2012-2013 Vice President of Campus Activities. I am running for you, I want to be the voice for you, and I hope we can continually strive to make this campus more student-centered. 
Your first question is, have you ever participated in activities offered by our international students, such as Chinese New Year, the Diwali Festival, or the International Student Organization Festival? Do you see those as important events on our campus life? I have actually participated in, I'll be honest, one international event, and that was held in our um, Stadium Club Tower earlier this year, and it was a Troy International Student Fair. It is very important for me as VPCA to take on the challenge of getting our international students involved. Our campus, I believe, is around 10% international student, and I think it's very important that our entire campus grows as a whole. I would promote homecoming events for them. I would also promote have pep rally competition for the international students. But it's important to remember as a whole, we are Troy students. And it's important for us to remember that, that we need to focus on the entire Troy campus and infusing all students together. It's important to do that. Thank you, Cody. Now your next question. In your statement running for VPCA, you talk about more creative ways to market events. What specific ways do you have in mind? Okay, first we could obviously utilize Trojan Vision better and the TROP and the other Troy news media websites. But it's also important for us to use things such as flags, banners, uh, more flyers, things of that nature. It's important that we don't believe that every student watches, watches Trojan Vision or reads Trojan Today. So we're going to have to research and find better ways to enact these events, possibly, like I said, with ban banners, flags, etc. Thank you. Cody Farrell, candidate for pr vice president for campus activities. Now let's meet our candidates for vice president for legislative affairs. Parker Smith is a broadcast journalism major from Troy, and Paul Evans is a political science major from Montgomery. Parker, you have one minute to introduce yourself. As Courtney said, I'm Parker Smith, a 19-year-old junior from Troy, Alabama, majoring in broadcast journalism and minoring in math and leadership. I have served as an SGA senator for the last two years in the Constitution and Rules Committee and would like to continue to serve you as Vice President of Legislative Affairs. If elected, I would do my best to help hold VPLA, the Office of VPLA to the standards set by my predecessors and continue to work better for our university. I'm also actively involved in Alpha Tau Omega Attorney, Inter Attorney Council, and many other great Troy University organizations. So please support me for vo and vote Parker Smith for VPLA. And remember, go Troy. <laughs> Thank you, Parker. Now, Paul, you have one minute to introduce yourself. As previously stated, my name is Paul Evans, and I'm a political science major from Montgomery. I started my SJA career as being selected to be in freshman forum. I'm currently a senator in the Constitution Rules Committee. This has given me a better, uh, better understanding of our Constitution and bylaws and also parliamentary procedure, uh, which is how SJA meetings are ran and what the VPLA presides over. A person elected to this office should give it their full attention with no restraints such as grades, times, or obligations to other organizations. I've held multiple uh, leadership positions and organizations but I've decided to forego pursuing other offices in those organizations to devote my complete time and effort to this office if elected. I'm not running for self-gratification. I'm not running to boost my name. I'm running because I feel like I have the background, motivation, and commitment to run this office effectively and passionately. I believe Troy SGA's future is bright, and I would love to continue to be included in it by way of this office. Thank you, Paul. Now I have a question for each of you that each candidate will have one minute to address. The first question will first go to Parker Smith. If elected, there are five Senate committees that you will be in charge of next year. Name one specific activity you would have the Student Welfare Committee work on next year. Uh, one thing that I would have the Student Welfare Committee work on is just building a tighter knit community for all the students and build stuff where international students and people from Alabama to Florida all across the United States where we come together and make this better where we can uh, maybe have like an intramural day where it's we get them all together and do all kinds of stuff where we <laughs> work and uh, also I think another thing that I would put them on is to build uh, maybe an intramural field where it'll be open at all times and definitely where it's not just open in the spring or something like that. Thank you. Paul, here's your chance to answer the same question. I think the biggest thing that we can do is, is, is to continue to establish Trojan, vi Trojan pride in students. This, uh, this can be done in many ways, and I, I would make sure to stay on, on the, the heads of the committees and, uh, and the, all the rest of the Senate, because that's what the VPLA does. They're, they preside over the Senate, and they're the liaison from, from Senate to exec. And I'll make sure that exec understands where the where the Senate is coming from, and the, and also the Senate where the where the students through the Senate comes to the VPLA. So I would, I would make sure that every voice is heard. Thank you, 
Paul Evans gets the first chance to answer question number two. Senator's service to the SGA is documented in points. How could you improve on this system to motivate senators to serve the university? I think the biggest thing is just to give more point opportunities for senators. Uh, some, opportun some opportunities uh, you won't be able to do due to time or other obligations. So having, having more chances to get points will help the senators become more active and get on campus and, and spread what SJ is doing and meet their constituents. And I think the biggest thing that we need to do as, as Senate is to get to know your uh, constituents personally. That, that way you can have a bond where you understand exactly where they're coming from and know exactly the needs of the university and the student body. Thank you. Now, Parker, the same question to you. Um, I believe that the point system we currently have is very effective, but I do think that it needs a little bit of fixing where uh, right now in the fall semester you're required to get 15 points where you do office hours and all that, but then in the spring we do 12, and I mean that's very important. But I think maybe we should uh, add a little more maybe and make it where we do it with not just individuals in the Senate, but make it where it's usually always a group of senators where you build camaraderie amongst the Senate and make it where we can work together and better our university. Thank you. Parker Smith and Paul Evans, your candidate for Vice President for Legislative Affairs. That concludes our segment on officer candidates for clerk, secretary, and the two vice presidential offices. After this break, we'll meet the candidates for SGA president.